today I thought I would do a video on what I put in my hospital bag and my baby's hospital bag. This is my second baby, so I kind of know what you need a little bit more and what you will use, what you won't use. I am an overpacker, but I like to just be prepared. I've learned a lot in my life that it's better to be prepared than underprepared. So um, there's a little bit extra things in my bag, but it's mostly just because I like to be prepared for any situation. Um, I also have anxiety if I don't. I also get anxiety if I don't overpack just slightly. Um, I know the hospital provides a lot for the baby but and a lot for your postpartum care for you um, as a mom, but there's just some things that just give me a little bit more comfort knowing that I have in my bag just in case. So first things first, we're gonna start with like uh, with my bag because it's right here. Um, also, we're in the baby's room, but there is boxes from like things that we just unpacked on that are on the sides that you can't see currently, or like in our room, or that were in Charlie's room. So, if you see that, that's because we have not thrown them away yet. We are getting to it. Don't worry. All right. Also, I'm gonna try to do this fast because my child is asleep. So first things first, one thing I didn't bring last time that I wish I had brought were sandals for the bathroom in the, sh in the hospital. Um, I know they clean it and everything, but I just want to be like extra prepared with germs. Not that my feet got like gross or anything, but like um, it's hard to walk. At least it was hard for, to walk for me. So. Uh, my, the grip on my feet weren't that great, and um, my grip on my the grips on my feet weren't that great in the shower. So I just wanted to take these to give me a little bit more grip. I got these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Um, so if you're looking for those, these are really good. Another thing is a binder because you're gonna get a lot of paper paperwork at the hospital for your baby, your charts, the baby stuff, all that stuff. And um, we actually have a binder now for Charlie and all her medical information, but we didn't when we went into the hospital to give birth. And I kind of wish we would have because we literally had a diaper bag full of just paper, which was annoying to have to go through and put away when the time came. So I'm gonna bring a pen in here and this is just his ultrasound and then I made this cute little like first grader craft thing because I don't do arts and crafts very well but um, this is his binder so we can put all his medical information in here. Um, I brought three nightgowns this time because last time they were the easiest thing to put on and off and um, I'd only bought one my whole pregnancy so I only had one to bring to the hospital but this time I wanted to be prepared so I put this one on my registry and my grandma got it for me so I'm really happy about that it has the little floppy boob thingy so it makes it easier to breastfeed it's easy to go to the bathroom and just pull down your mesh underwear and do what you gotta do or your depends or whatever which is something I still have to buy so I have to buy my depends which is not, so it's not gonna be in this video, but I'm definitely gonna bring it to the hospital because I I love them. Um, I get like the Walmart brand, the Assurance thing. I don't, I don't remember the exact title, but there's a pack of like 60 for $21, and that's more than I needed last time, but I'm gonna go ahead and get that this time. Ooh, sorry, indigestion. Um, just because I like the way the underwear kept me together and I could just dispose of them when I needed to change or go, or go to the bathroom. Um, so yeah, so I'm really getting that back to the clothes and I do recommend them. People use pads and people use like the mesh underwear at home too, which is fine, but I personally found that the mesh underwear just kind of like didn't always keep it together like I liked. And pads are great for when you're not bleeding a lot, but like the first week or so, I definitely would recommend getting some Depends. And it's okay, no one has to know you're wearing them. No one knew I was wearing them, so, except for my husband who bought them for me, but that was about it. And now you guys, <laughs> um, I saw this one on Target and it's just a regular nightgown 
that you can get in the reg the regular women's department, not like the maternity place. Um, I got it in a size bigger just because I wanted my boob to have easier access to come out. Um, and I like looser fitting clothes. I just would recommend wearing really comfortable loose fitting tops and um, to keep it together on the bottom I, I have a pair of my my leggings and um, I'm bringing a pair of shorts too here they are just regular Sophie shorts um, again these aren't like like the cutest outfits but trust me you don't really care about that I know people always recommend getting the underwear that goes like over the belly for after birth but honestly I didn't really like anything touching me on my belly yet it just felt weird your belly is gonna feel weird so I got the under I usually I usually get I got the underwear that goes like right under where the belly was it like see this like little like V thing it makes it really nice and like comfortable I personally like it I know some people that maybe had c-sections that would probably do better with the ones that go over the scar instead of the ones that probably would be right on it but for people that just give vaginal births I would recommend these and this is probably I'm probably not going to use these in the hospital unless like I am like absolutely perfect which would be really random but I'm bringing them just in case um I always like to be prepared that's one of those anxiety things and then I'm bringing this robe again I got it from Target just a regular women's section um, I this is I got this when I wasn't pregnant or anything I just really thought it was cute um, did I get it for Halloween I think I got it for like a Halloween thing but I'm um, just to put over my nightgowns the spaghetti strap ones so I'm not freezing cold in there and then my husband is also using this so I packed him two shirts two boxers, um, two pairs of socks, and he's gonna probably wear the same pair of shorts just because he's that low maintenance of a person. There's some stuff that I'm not packing yet that I'll show you that I'm bringing, only because I'm still using them, and I don't know when I'm gonna go into labor. Uh, if you watch our vlog that we put up recently, then you'll know that I'm on Baby Watch, and um, I am, I have not updated about this part, but I am open. My cervix is open, according to the doctor I got checked by. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know when we'll go to the hospital and when he'll decide to come. I'm hoping sometime this week, but we shall see. So things that I'm bringing that I haven't put in there are my makeup bag um, and some makeup wipes. So you can get like the little packets in the dollar, the dollar section, the travel section for like 98 cents at Walmart. Um, I really just, I recommend getting those. I got some for myself. I, they are not in here, they're still in the bathroom because I forgot to bring them. Um, <clears throat> and then our toiletry bag, this is my husband's toiletry bag. It's huge, so like, I had thought about getting another one, but to be honest, it's huge, so why do I wanna, why would I replace it? Just kidding, I did put the makeup wipes in there, so like this. You can get like the uh, the real ones, the Neutrogena makeup remover instead of the generic brand for like 98 cents in these little packets. They're really easy for hospital visits. I do plan on putting makeup on this time. Um, I didn't put it on last time and I regretted it. I did bring it, I just didn't wear it and then all my pictures from the hospital weren't I don't feel that confident about so this time I'm making sure to bring some makeup just so I can spruce it up a bit and feel slightly better about myself I know that has a lot to say about me and so maybe you guys will be fine without makeup but to me I like to just wear makeup so I bring some travel size shampoo just put some shampoo that you already have or you can buy one from Walmart for 98 cents again in like a little travel container these were again I got at Walmart I'm not sure if I can find this online but I know for sure if you go to their travel section you can find it there and then um, some body wash Colton and I don't use the same one but um, maybe I can convince him to bring the same one as me so we can only, so we only have to wear, use one but again these are from Walmart these were like less than a dollar I'm not sure how much they were but they were less than a dollar um, so body wash and then we have a mini thing of face wash and I'm going to put toothpaste and our toothbrushes toothbrushes um, in there. I'm bringing a little wet brush. This one's actually for Charlie but she never uses it. So um, I'm going to use it this time. Um, and then 
deodorant. His and hers. This is a little secret one. I thought this was super cute. Charlie wanted some and I was like, you can't have it. But, <laughs> but she like tried to put it on her armpits. It was super funny. I didn't know she knew what deodorant was, but yeah. And then hemorrhoid cream. They will give you, um, I bring hemorrhoid cream. It is real. So some people don't get hemorrhoids and those people are lucky. Um, I unfortunately do. Um, and that's okay. I just, it's just kind of embarrassing to talk about. Um, so they do give you tux pads, which are supposed to help with that, like witch hazel. Um, but personally, I found that just using the witch hazel pads alone for myself didn't work. So I had to use hemorrhoid cream and witch hazel pads. So, you know, you may be different and may not need it, but some people have a harder time, like myself, and that's really embarrassing to say, but you know, whatever. Um, so, I just like to be over prepared for that. Also in here, I have germ medicine because I am just, I, I get paranoid. Um, so I have germ medicine in this bag like hand sanitizer, I call it germ medicine. And then I have this double port charger. I know I packed that horribly. Um, this double port charger and my husband has an Android so he can just plug his in here. And um, this is a six foot long iPhone charger. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and then down here in this one, I have some breast pads and nipple cream. I did bring nipple cream last time and I still have it somewhere, but I can't find it, so I just got a new one. I got the generic brand of these from Target. I don't know if my baby's awake yet. She's taking a nap, so I'm trying to be fast. But um, I got the generic brand from Target and I would recommend it, except that they don't put two in a pack, they put them separately. So you have to, your boobs are separate which they are separate, but like in the lanolin ones, the, the purple one, the purple box, I may be totally butchering that name. I, th I believe they come two in a packet instead of separate. So is it worth it to save your money on that one? I don't think so, but I did this time. So yeah. <gasps> My baby! Hi! Okay, really fast because my baby woke up. So I got this diaper bag from Amazon. It was like about $19.99, so $20. It wasn't too bad if I can find the link to it. I'll link it below because honestly, it's so spacious. There's so many pockets, I recommend it. Um, <laughs> so continue with the overbearing anxiety. I also have hand wipes just in case hand sanitizer wasn't enough. <clears throat> I put some in the diaper bag right there. So they give you wipes and diapers at the hospital, but um, I just wanted to pack it kind of like we were packing diaper bag just regularly. So I put some wipes in here. These are just the, the Pampers sensitive ones. These work really well with Charlie, so I'm hoping they work really well with him. <clears throat> some Desitin in here. You never know. And then some, um, these are Pampers diapers, but Charlie likes to hug these ones. Uh, the newborn diapers in here. They will give you some in the hospital, so don't worry about packing it if you don't have it. But just think, I just like to have them just in case. And then I put a feeding cover in here. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, I just want to be prepared. I don't know who's going to be in and out of my room yet, and I just want to feel comfortable. <clears throat> so I'm bringing the feeding cover. That was really aggressive. Oh, this is his coming home outfit. It says little brother. I think it's super cute. And it's got little puppies on the feet. I have two swaddles in here as well. Um, <clears throat> and then I have an extra outfit just in case he goes poopy. But the poopy on that one. The hospital will provide like basic like white tees for the babies and like a hospital blanket. So you don't need to bring a swaddle or like clothes clothes, but I would recommend it just because it's fun. Um, so this gray onesie with <clears throat> these cute little pants, maybe pants, they're so small. I have some socks and I have a pacifier. I know people are like nipple confusion, but, uh, but like my 
can I have this one? Can you play with that one? Um, but Charlie didn't take the pacifier at all, and I feel like it's because I started her too late on it, and my boobie was really sore. So I just plan, I just want to get a head start on it. Um, and I have some mittens as well. So that is everything I have put in our hospital bags and um, everything that is pretty much essential. You don't need a whole lot. The hospital will provide a lot. For first time moms that don't really like have a lot, um, don't worry about it because the hospital will give you a lot. I just like to be extra super duper prepared. Um, anyway, we're going to go because this one... Um, but it's been so nice to talk and hang out with you guys again. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. We're trying to hit 1k pretty fast. Um, it's a personal goal of mine to hit it by Christmas, but you know, what happens will happen and that's okay. You want to say goodbye? No. You don't? Please. Yeah. Okay, hey, I'm jumping on really fast because I totally forgot to mention nursing bras um, be, um charlie is here say hi hi we're actually getting ready for bed but, but during that process i was like oh shoot i have those in my hospital bag and i didn't mention them so this one is from the Auden brand from target i don't know i'll link it below but i like like the sports bra looking one because it's easier to pull down i don't like like the real nurse like the ones that have cups in it i just like don't like how restricting it feels so i'm packing this one i loved these last time with charlie i still do love to wear them even though i'm not breastfeeding now because it's easy to just flip it down and whip it out you know um so i put, i'm putting these in my hospital bag i am planning to wear um dresses that have like the nursing part of the, the dress in it but um for the way home, for coming home, or like, I don't know, maybe for like coming home, yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna feel like this type or this type, but I just thought I'd mention it because I completely forgot earlier. This one was from Amazon, so if I can find it, I will link it, and this one's from Target. If I find it, I will link it. So anyway, that's it. If you don't wanna come say bye. Hi. Say bye. Bye. Do it again. Bye.